Though the Samsung Galaxy S6 and the S6 Edge were announced at March 2015's Mobile World Congress, last year Samsung released a new phablet, named the Galaxy Note Edge. Let's start with probably the least impressive feature of this phone, the curve. Though it packs in a variety of apps on just the curve, which may look useful and have a nice aesthetic, they're actually useless. The ruler is probably the most ludicrous of them all. What can you really measure that's just 10cm? Other than that, there's a stopwatch, timer and a torch. The only useful app of them all is really just the voice recorder, which enables fast voice recording. and you can scroll up and down to see your notifications and your weather, as well as your steps if the S Health app is enabled. The back of the phone to me is the most appealing part, hosting the largest 16 megapixel camera in a nice leather look casing. At the bottom we see a plain micro USB input and the S Pen. Samsung still include that beautiful multi-touch Super AMOLED touchscreen, and this time it's 5.6 inches, which looks stunning for movie playback and photo editing. Of course, gaming on the Note Edge is also an immersing experience, with its resolution of 1600 by 2560 pixels. The S Pen found at the bottom of the phone is amazing. It's super light and not flimsy at all. It hosts a small button for a quick menu, and the screen and the pen work nicely with the capacitive touch, enabling touch-sensitive note-taking. These Geekbench figures speak for themselves and do the phone a lot of justice. Check out pay monthly plans on vodafone.co.uk.